Hey, Crossing Church, and to everyone who's watching online, so glad that you're spending part of your Monday with me. If we haven't had a chance to meet yet, my name is Justin Chandler, and I'm one of the pastors here. And I'm really excited to spend a little bit of my Monday with you going through Psalm 20. If you had a chance to join us this weekend, you had a chance to hear me kind of talk through that. And so I'm really looking forward to just unpacking it a little bit more. But then also I want to highlight, if you were there on Friday, you had a chance to spend some time with me, weekend services with me, and Monday with me. I know that that can be a lot of me. Frankly, I've had a lot of me over these last couple days too. And so really looking forward to today. So if you have a Bible, if you could open up to Psalm 20, I'm going to read it for us. And then we're going to just spend a little bit of time talking through it. So uh, Psalm chapter 20, we're going to start in verse number one. So here's what it says. May the Lord answer you when you're in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now this I know, the Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some trust in tr horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. And so through the week, we've been using this model called SOAP. So each week we'll have the scripture, which will come through on the weekend. On Monday, we'll share observation, Wednesday, application, and Friday, we'll share prayer. And so here's just a couple of observations from me. One, one that I just want to highlight, even before we jump into it, one of the best parts about using the SOAP model is the way that we can all share with one another and grow with one another. And so I know so many of you have jumped in and said good morning to each other. Maybe you've had a chance to share a prayer request. One of the things I want to encourage you over the next couple of minutes is if you have an observation, if something sticks out to you, go ahead and share that in the comments. It's a great way for other people to see something that you saw that maybe they would have missed before had you not shared it. So I want to encourage you to do that. And even this for our family has been something really great because as we've been reading through it each day, uh, my wife will bring up something that I didn't notice. My sons will bring up something that I didn't notice. And so it helps us to see how the Bible and how each person hears it, listens to it, and reads it can evoke a different emotion, can bring out a different thought. And so I want to encourage you to share yours. And here's three of them uh, that I think are really just interesting for me, even in light of what I shared this weekend. Uh, the very first one, what I want to encourage you to do is look at all the different sentences where may the Lord, may he, or may we, just all those different times where may comes up. It may be different in the translation of the Bible you're using, but there's a number of key phrases that start this psalm that I think it's just interesting to notice what God is saying, what the prayer is being invited into each one of our lives. And so just go ahead and highlight those or circle all the times May comes up and then just look at the words and phrases that come after. And some of your observations on that I'd love to hear. Now, the very second thing I want to bring up is you'll notice that right in the middle, it says, now this I know. And I think that that's really interesting too, because you'll have all of these phrases where may the Lord, may we just kind of stacks the beginning. And then there's this turn in the song where it says, now this I know, and the rest of it goes towards confidence, it goes towards hope, it goes towards trust. And so just to notice that right there is kind of the middle, and then there's some thoughts after that. Then the final observation I would have, again, hoping to hear some more from you. Now, the one thing I would say is that even though we talked a lot this week and that the prayer goes is some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, and as we talked about, like, what do we put our trust in and where could we have this thing that could be in our lives that would cause us to feel that everything was going to be all right? One of the interesting things about this psalm is that even though it points to some people trusting in chariots and horses, which would have been the greatest anchor of military trust for the Israelite people, they came to the point where they trusted in God so much that they didn't even desire that other thing anymore. And so even though so many people would be clamoring for it, so many people would desire to have it for them, they said, we actually don't need that anymore because we have God. And for you and I, even in the space where we find ourselves, there's so many things that you and I could say, if I had this, then I'd be able to trust more. If I had this, um, then I feel like my confidence would grow more. And one of my big hopes, even in this single observation, is for each of us to say, because we can put our hope and trust in God, all of the other things that we may find falling away or all the other boats we could hope to, to help sustain us, we may find that our trust and confidence and hope in God is far more than we could ever need and that God is going to do all that he promised for us. 
And so again, one of uh, my desires, even as we finish out this video, is that you just take a couple of moments, share some of your observations. I'd love to take some of those and have them be observations of my own. And I really look forward to seeing you again uh, tomorrow as we have some music together and on Wednesday and Friday as we continue the SOAP model. Uh, thanks so much again for joining me today. And we we'll look forward to seeing you again real soon.